Okay, how's it going guys? Con Artist here and welcome to a brand new playthrough. Today we're going to be playing through Pokemon Rejuvenation. So uh, yeah, it's a fan game that I've really wanted to play and recently it, uh, it's been updated. So uh, yeah, I decided now would be a good time to go ahead and start it. Uh, it's going to be a long one, I'm pretty sure, just like uh, Desolation. So uh, yeah, it's going uh, to be a pretty long playthrough. Anyways, if you want to play it yourself, link will be down below. With that being said, let's just uh, hop right into it. Alright. Max off FRLG Alright, cool. Uh, so yeah, as you can see at the bottom right there, the, uh, the version was released on the 21st, so uh, two days ago? Or at least this ver current version, 13.0.2 released two days ago. I'm recording this on the 23rd. Don't know when it'll be uploaded. Maybe tomorrow? I'm not sure. But, uh, yeah. Anyways, before we get into it, let me go ahead and turn on my speed real quick. Awesome. Alright, cool. Let's uh, do this. New game. Skip the prologue. Uh, no. I haven't... haven't seen it, so... You can tell me the story about the Zorua and the Pangoro again, Mommy. Ha. Huh. Alright. I will. There once was a lonely Zorua, living deep in the darkest forests. He was a mischievous one, transforming into other Pokemon and beings that lived around. He would often use this ability to trick others into handing over food or using their homes to sleep in. Because of this, he didn't have many friends. I'm sure you can piece together why. But one day, this changed when Zorua met a powerful Pokemon called Pangoro. They were fighting over a rare and coveted golden apple. Many hours later, their fight came to an end, and no victor was revealed. They knew they, ev they were evenly matched. One could not take out the other. With both staring at each other intensely, they knew that they were destined for friendship. Oh, really? The two became quick companions. They were two peas in a pod, if you will. They traveled the world together, overcame hardships, uh, went on thrilling adventures. Life was good for the two of them, until one day, Zorua went too far. Zorua planned a devious prank on Pangoro. I shall transform into Pangoro's fallen... M oh my god! <laughs> that would surely give him a spook, Zorua said. <laughs> It'll be my best prank yet, oh my god. So while Pangoro left to find food... Zorua put his malicious plan into action. When Pangoro returned home, he was greeted with the sight of his dead mother. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> Paralyzed with a mixture of extreme emotions, Pangoro dropped his collection of food under the ground. In that collection of food was... a golden apple. Ha, huh, yes, that's right, a golden apple. When Zorua saw this, he transformed back into his normal state looked down at the food and said, Hey, where'd you find this golden apple? It looks fresh and incredibly delicious. Zorua raised his head to see a face filled with fury, sadness, but most importantly, disappointment. Zorua quickly realized that he hurt Pangoro very deeply and tried to apologize, but Pangoro wouldn't hear any of it and immediately ran into the forest. Shaken and worried, Zorua ran after him, but Pangoro was nowhere to be found. Zorua realized that he repelled his only friend with his selfishness, and Zorua became lonely once more. Sleep tight. That is not a sleep. Why, why would I want. Who would want to hear that story when they go to bed? What the hell? <laughs> that is such a depressing story. <laughs> why would you want to hear that right before bedtime? What the hell? Oh my god. Maria, that is not the story I would want to hear when going to bed, dude. <laughs> oh, man. Yawn. Morning already? Better get up. Okay. Mommy, I'm up, I'm up. Ah, good morning, Maria. Did you sleep well? I'm preparing breakfast right now. Do you mind fetching your father? He's working in his study. Don't take too long. I don't want his food to get cold. You can count on me, Mommy. 
Alright. Uh. Oh, here we go. Ah. Marie and Maria, how are you doing? Mom said breakfast is ready, so get your butt out of this room and have good food. I do love your mother's cooking. Alright, I'll be out in a few moments. Go tell your mother that, you hear? Okay. Dad said he'll be right out. Did he now? Well, there's no use in rushing him, I guess. You should go upstairs and freshen up. I'll have your breakfast ready by then. Okay, and uh, then we get to play outside afterwards, right? Of course. Now go on, Maria. I'll be waiting for you down here. I'm going right now. Alright. The hell? What was that? Mom? Mommy? Uh... Mommy? Mom? Uh... Who are you? How many times? What? How many times are you going to make this little girl suffer? How many times are you willing to put her through this chaos? I'm... I don't know what you're talking about. I'm not talking to you. Oh, well, do you know where my parents are? They're downstairs. Oh, okay. Well, I'm gonna go go to them now. Maria. Yes? No matter what happens, don't you dare lose hope. Don't lose who you are, and don't you dare forget what hap what's about to happen. You understand? Yes, I understand. Good. Go to them now. They're waiting. Okay. They're dead, dude, aren't they? They're a hundred percent dead. They are a thousand percent dead, aren't they? Oh my god! Is she being sacrificed? <laughs> Mommy? Oh my god! Uh, what are you doing to Mommy? Mommy, wake up! Mommy, wake up! Wake up! Daddy, get out of the way! Get out! Why won't you say anything to me? Why? Marionette, your father wishes to see you now. What? What are you talking about? Marionette, your father wishes to see you now. What are you doing? Marionette. Marionette. Marionette! The hell? Oh, hey, it's the Zoro and Pangoro. What? Now, for the fifth time, Marionette, your father is waiting for you in the East Wing. You're making him wait longer than he has to, so get to it. What? What am I doing here again? Marionette, I won't say it again. Just hurry along then. My name's not Marionette. It's Maria. What the hell is going on? Uh. Uh, what the hell is going on? We're about to see another sacrifice? Where's my mom? Mommy is sleeping with our lord now, Marionette. Stop calling me Marionette. It's Maria. What is with this disrespect? Your name is no longer Maria. Now, as I was initially planning to do... No need for explanation, sir. Demonstration may be the key to this girl's mind. Very well. Uh... Uh... What? She's gone now, Marionette. She's with the Lord now. She won't need to suffer the calamity that soon befalls this earth. Marionette, it's your turn now. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> no, you can't make me do it. Maids, bring Marionette to the altar. Oh, my God. Let go of me. Let go of me. Oh, my God. You said the same to my mommy. She's going to be... She's gone because of you. Enough, Marionette. Go with dignity. <laughs> I don't want this. Just let me go. Uh, I hate you. I hate you. Someone, please don't let him do this to me. Someone, please help me. Anyone. Mommy. Please. Oh my god, that was crazy. Okay, here we go. So, uh, we have three modes, it looks like casual, normal, and intense. I don't, I don't, why does that say reborn style? <laughs> uh, I guess we'll go with normal. I'm assuming casual will make it more easy. Normal is probably the way it was intended to play. And then intense is if you want to make it harder. I think we'll go with normal. I think normal's fine. 
Registration process beginning. Excuse me, uh, can you hear me through that thing? Ah, that's better. Hello, it's nice to meet you. My name is Amanda. I'm what you call a scout. For what? Uh, the Avium League, of course. It's my job to guide newcomers like you into the world of Pokemon. Before we continue, do you need any extra assistance? No, I'm good. Fantastic. Now we should talk about the expectations and requirements of the League. There are 18 gym leaders for you to defeat, alongside the Elite 8. Not Elite 4, Elite 8. Damn. You heard that right, 8. Pokemon here act a little differently from other regions. They won't obey you if they don't deem you worthy. You can check your status as a trainer by taking a look at your trainer card. I'm guessing that means a level cap. Everything's listed there for you. Right, speaking of which, we should probably set that up now. What do you identify as, uh, boy? Okay, got it. Uh, so I have a few profiles on hand. Mind going through them? Personality test. Yeah, let's look through them. Uh, please select a profile to see more. Oh, damn. So there's what? Six different... Is this your profile? Uh, interesting. Let's look through the rest. Is that the, is that the girl sprite? Okay. Okay. All right. Uh, well, I guess I'll just go with the first one, since it's the closest. I would, I would guess. Yeah. Great. Looking sharp. Could you tell me your name? Your name is Mark, yes. All right, everything seems settled. Do you have anything else you need to get done? Password. No, I'm good. I'll see you once you get to East Girin City then. I'll be waiting for you at the East Girin Laboratory. Don't forget, safe travels, Mark. Okay. Ah, have you finished your registration process? In that case, let me print out your trainer card for you. There, all done, and ready for you. Please take this. Nice. With this, you're officially registered. Good luck to you, Mark. Fantastic. All right, let's take a look at it. So yeah, there's, oh my god. The level cap for uh, every single one. It's 15, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60, 65, 70, 75, 80, 85, 85, 95, 95, 100. Okay, damn, shit. All right. Uh... That's good to know. Now, I don't think this game is completed. I want to say it's not. I think there's a good amount of content, though, so we'll see. All right. Oh, Mark, uh, I was just on my way to see how things were going. Who the hell are you? Oh, it's Mom. Mark, is that your trainer card? How lovely. That means you're officially ready to go. Avium is a beautiful region with lots to do and see. Once we disembark at Oceana Pier, we're off to Akua Town. It's a colder but cozy place to spend our days. You'll see. Dear, are you doing okay? You've been so quiet since last night. Certain dialogue options in this game can affect how the characters see you. Pokemon Druvenation has a friendship value system. Depending on your dialogue choices, characters will spawn differently and either gain or lose friendship value. Friendship value may change the dialogue and other events that happen later. Choose your words carefully. Yeah, I'm fine. Glad to hear it. I know moving is hard, but this is for the best, I promise. Anyway, we should be docking at Oceana Pier later tonight. In the meantime, why don't you go speak with the captain? He's a longtime friend of mine. As for me, I, I have to be somewhere right now. Please take care, Mark. I love you. Okay, try not to get sacrificed seen that happen a couple times. Does this game have its own speed up or something? This is going really fast. Hmm. Like, I have my speed on, but does the game have its own speed? It's a little hard to control here. Let me lower my own speed real quick.
He seems to be ignoring you. Damn. Where was I supposed to be going? I wasn't paying attention to what Mother was saying. Oh. You must be the wonderful Mark, aren't you? Please, please, come. I've been expecting you. My name is Augustus, Augustus Briney. I come from a family of sailors. I happen to be the captain of the SS Oceana. So tell me, how is your voyage so far? Surely it must be enjoyable. Yeah, it's been fine. Oh, that's what I like to hear. I've done my very best to keep things nice and orderly on this ship. Anyway, your mother asked me to go through a few things with you before we disembark in Avium. Is there anything you'd wish to know in particular? Uh... No, I'm good. Very well then. In that case, let's end our little conversation. The Farewell Banquet is about to begin, after all. Hmm. Surely you've heard of the Farewell Banquet. And even if you haven't, the name is enough to explain what it is, yes? Today's the final day of our journey, and as such, we'll be celebrating a successful voyage. Feel free to explore the ship to your leisure, to your leisure, uh, but don't take too long. Mostly because we're all starving. Oh, dude, that's not my problem. I don't really care to explore much. Uh, mother? You ready for the banquet? Yeah, sure. Excellent. Let's get settled. Hello, everyone. I am Augustus. I've been your captain during this luxurious, luxurious voyage. It's my pleasure to welcome all of you to the farewell banquet, where we celebrate the end of our voyage and the beginning of something new. I hope that this trip will forever stay in your memories, especially as a fond one. Sorry, but I think there's something that needs to that needs taking care of first. What the hell? Um, what is the issue here? Please return to your seats. Uh, no, I don't think we won't. I don't think we won't. Oh, I think we won't. The ship is under our control now. Who the hell? What is the meaning of this? Is is this a hijacking? You must be insane if you run in front of people like us. But we'll give you the benefit of the doubt and let you sit back down. Come on, take our generous offer. I refuse. Ugh, you'll regret this, lady. Crescent, get Mark out of here. Who's Crescent? Oh, it's a Gothitelle. Damn. The ship is going down. Oh my god. Why'd they put me at the top of the boat if it's going down? The hell? You there, child. Thank goodness you're alright. I was just hanging around out here and there was this huge, huge explosion. It knocked me off my feet and flat on my face, but I'm alright. But unfortunately we're trapped because the flooring here has gone under. What the hell? What? Oh my god! <laughs> that man is dead! Hey, look who it is. I gotta say, kid, I'm glad to see you. I don't know how you were able to weasel your way out of that explosion, but kudos to you. Uh, where's my mother? Are you okay? <laughs> yes, I'm doing well enough. Thank you for asking. The smoke here is intense. We can't stay here for long, but... The captain seems to have been conscious through all of this. Maybe he'll know something. Oh, great. Augustus, you're too close to the fire. Please step back. The beautiful SS Oceana is done for. My prized possession. She won't make it to her destination after all this time. The ship can be replaced. What can't be replaced are the lives. Still strewn about in the ship. Look, Mark survived the blast, didn't they? Oh. You've been conscious for this entire ordeal. Do you know where Mark's mother is? Ah, uh, yes. Uh, after the explosion, Nancy jumped down below in pursuit of the assailant that destroyed the ship. So she's down there, then. Oh, that's no good. Come on, Augustus. We need to get off this thing. If we work together, we can... Oh, am I about to jump? Mark, wait! <laughs> Mark! <laughs> Holy shit, I just jumped, dude. Okay, yeah, sure. Hello? Uh... Hmm. Is that a door? Oh. <laughs> I ran right into that fire. Alright, hold on. Let me, uh... 
just completely turn off my speed just to see. Does this game have its own speed automatically on? Oh my Jesus. Hmm. Maybe just naturally fast. I don't know. I feel like I gotta keep my speed on because it's getting a bit hard to control. Oh, here we are. What the hell is that? I've had enough of this. No more running around. What are you doing and why? Perhaps you should be less concerned about me and more concerned about our guest that just joined us. What? Mark. But... What are you doing here? I thought Crescent... She was supposed to send you somewhere safe. Sorry. Safety is long gone for both of you. For now, we're going to go ahead and take our target. You. Me? That's right. Did you think our target was Mark or something? Anyway, I was only gonna—I was only going after you, but since both of you decided to just deliver yourselves to me, I'll be happy to take you back to HQ on silver platters. Oh, jeez. Oh. Now, do you understand? There isn't any future for the ship, or for anyone else you've put through this. Glad you see things my way. But I will creep hope for at least one person. Mark, I know that we've been distant, but now but know that I only want you to be happy. And while it hasn't been for a long time, I was glad to be able to share time with you on the ship. I will hold her off for as long as I can, but I want you to run. Even on a place as confined as this vessel, you must run away. Even in the times where a future seems impossible, you must keep on. For it is though that pursuit of hope that opportunity shines through. And wherever you end up, find new friends, new opportunities, new love. Know that no matter where you are or what you're doing, I'm looking upon you, smiling, protecting. That's my love for you, Mark. A mother's love. Go, my child. Yo, that shit was deep. <laughs> oh my god. Damn, who dropped a piano on his ass? <laughs> Keep going, kid. Get out of here. Get out of here for the rest of us. <laughs> she dropped a whole ass piano, dude. That shit was crazy. It's over. You have nowhere else to go. Your mother may made a heartfelt speech, but this is the real world. Oh, no. Huh? Bah! What in the... What just happened? Nothing in particular. They got away, despite what I said. We are the real world, and the real world is full of unexpected occurrences. Leave them. We'll see Mark again. For now, we need to abandon ship. I. Oh. Shipwrecked. Chapter 1. Bah. Oh dear. Oh, thank goodness, I was able to save at least one person. Mark explained what happened. I see. That's a harrowing tale. I'm sorry you went through that. I was on my way to East Girin from Terrajuma when I picked up a distress call. Talonflame and I made our way to that location as fast as possible, and well... Oh, I'm so sorry. I didn't even properly introduce myself. My name is Tesla. Tesla Von Brandt? I'm from the tropical island of Avium, that being Terrajuma Island. It's my pleasure to meet you. Uh, what's your name? Your name is Mark. Oh, what a wonderful name. Now that that's out of the way, I want to say that I wouldn't worry about your mother. It looks like the group that attacked the ship was Team Zen. They're a criminal organization that seemed to just have popped in Avium out of nowhere. But they're usually known to be somewhat incompetent, or at least, rarely active. That's what is so confusing about this. I believe this is their first actual attack. Oh, but this means you're all alone now, aren't you? If you don't mind me asking, what do you plan on doing? Uh, I gotta go to the Gearin Laboratory? That's a wonderful idea. You may be able to get your own Pokemon from there. 
You'll need one if you're going to be traveling around Avium. I think I'm going to head there to the wreck site to see if I can find anyone. Any more survivors. I'm a firm believer that everyone, everything happens for a reason. Things will work out eventually if you're patient. We'll see each other again soon, Mark. Clear the way, pretty please. Full speed ahead, Talonflame. Tailwind. <laughs> bah. Alright, well, that happened. Anyways, uh, I think that's going to be a good spot to go ahead and end this first episode off. So, yeah, thanks for watching. Stay tuned for more. It's been Con Artist. I'll see you guys next time with some more Pokemon rejuvenation. Thanks for watching again, and uh, yeah, peace out. Okay, how's it going guys? Con Artist here, and welcome back to some more Pokemon rejuvenation. Last time, things happened. This time, more things are going to happen. So, uh, yeah, we have... What the hell are you doing, Buizel? Just chilling there, staring off into the ocean. Feeding the Fletchling! What? Oh, there's a lot of just random Pokemon around. Probably going to be able to catch these. Probably need to give them, like, a treat or something. Wait, what'd that say? It said something about an achievement. I don't know. I wasn't paying attention. It's a green boat. That's kind of cool. Hello? Tired of your boring life? Yes. <laughs> of course, of course. Then listen to what I have to say. You're the lucky 1,000th person to talk to me today. Which means you get an all-expense-paid trip to the luxur luxurious and tropical Hoenn region. But don't dilly-dally, as this offer only lasts as long as you're here talking with me. The moment our conversation ends, my offer ends. Yeah, I want to go. Uh, okay. If you leave right now, things will go unsolved. <laughs> free trip! Free trip! <laughs> I want to just see what this is. Your mother and everyone who lives in this region, they're all full victim to whatever evil lies within. Are you seriously just going to let them all suffer? Trip, 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 trip. <laughs> uh, have fun in the Hoenn region. My supervisor cleared us. Let's get ourselves on the sea towards Hoenn. Mark hopped on the yacht and audibly yelled out, Oh, free trip. They left everything behind in pursuit of a tropical getaway in paradise. As the ship left Oceana Pier, Mark looked back longingly and with regret only to shrug it off with a quick sip of a virgin pina colada and an ice-cold scoop of sea salt caramel ice cream. As for the people of Avium, perhaps they've fallen in the clutches of whatever lies beneath the shadows. Nothing left but ruin and destruction. Wish you were here. <laughs> That's it? <laughs> we're just like, ah, oh, screw this. <laughs> we're like, ah, oh, screw this. I'm leaving, dude. I don't have time for this place. <laughs> That's hilarious. So wait, is that are those gonna be like spread out throughout the game like random game overs? That'd be pretty cool, dude. Like bad endings. That'd actually be pretty sick. This game just had like bad endings, like you make the wrong choice and while well, you're done, dude. <laughs> oh, that is sick. You're just like, oh yep. <laughs> yep, I'm just leaving, dude. I'm going to Hoenn. Hoenn's much nicer. <laughs> that is hilarious. What's up here? All right, let's uh let's try to find that lab so I can get my starter. Oh, found it. Hmm, are you Mark? Oh my gosh, what took you so long to get here? I thought you ditched me. Well, now that you're here, we can get started. Yes, cinematic bars will no longer appear for you. Wait, what? Huh, yeah, I don't really care for the cinematic bars. Critical capture. Interesting. <laughs> yeah, who would do such a thing? Ooh, what do you sell? Oh, potions. Let's get like four. Get like two antidotes, and that's that'll be it, I guess. Damn, damn, I said go away. Jesus, 